Hi friends. Today we're going to learn about the monarch butterfly. Do you see lots of butterflies where you live? It's a good time of year to see them, isn't it? Yeah, sometimes you might see them on some flowers or flying through the air. Do you know how to tell if it's a monarch butterfly? Hmm, let's find out. I'm going to share my screen. A monarch butterfly settles on a leaf of a milkweed plant. She gently presses a tiny egg onto one of its leaves. The egg is the beginning of another. It's summertime in the north. A breeze stirs the stem of the milkweed plant. The monarch egg is white and shiny. It's the size of a small dot and sticks to the leaf. When the butterfly lays the egg, she makes it sticky. Wind and rain cannot make the egg come loose. In a few days, the egg hatches. Out crawls a small caterpillar, also called a larva. First, the caterpillar eats the eggshell and then chews away at the milkweed leaf. The egg of a monarch is almost always laid on a milkweed plant. The plant will be its food. The caterpillar eats and grows and begins to change. It breaks out of its old skin, showing a new skin underneath. This is called molting. For two weeks, the caterpillar eats and eats. It molts about five times. Finally, a it's a full-grown monarch caterpillar, about two inches long. Now, something wonderful begins to happen. The caterpillar creeps to the stem of a leaf. It attaches itself to the stem and drops down head first. The caterpillar's bright colors become greenish. Then the skin splits and moves up to the top. The skin falls off, a new strange form appears. It's called the chrysalis or pupa. The chrysalis is like a blanket that's wrapped around the body growing inside. At first, the chrysalis is long and soft. Then it shrinks and hardens and becomes light green decorated with gold dots. Inside, the monarch butterfly begins to grow. About two weeks later, the chrysalis changes again. It turns gray-green before becoming transparent. It means you can see through it. Inside are white dots and orange and black lines. The chrysalis wiggles, then it splits open. The butterfly begins to pull itself out. The head and legs appear first, and then the rest of it slides out. The wings are tiny and stuck together, and the butterfly's abdomen is big. The abdomen becomes smaller when its fluid is pumped into the wings. The wings become bigger. The caterpillar has turned into a butterfly. This is called metamorphosis. Can you say that? That's a really big word. Metamorphosis. Good job. The butterfly sits quietly for a few hours, waiting for its wings to dry and harden. At last, they begin to move slowly and then beat faster and faster. The butterfly flutters up towards the sky. Monarchs have a bad taste and will make a bird or animal sick if they're eaten. And so most of them are left alone. The scales of the wings make up the colors. So you can see the yellow or the orange and the black. And then there's the feeler or antenna. And that's where it touches and feels things. And the tube to the mouth is called the proboscis that sucks up the sweet juice called the nectar. And it says the mutter, bu, monarch butterfly only flies during the day. When it rains, the butterfly stays dry, hidden under leaves. That's a good idea. Fall is on the way, soon it will be cold. If the monarch butterfly doesn't fly south, it will die. Once again, it darts up into the sky. The butterfly will take a long trip to a warmer place. This is called migration. The monarch will fly to where its ancestors have always gone, sometimes to the very same tree. Other monarchs keep appearing, making a cloud of orange in the sky. At night, they rest in leaves. Sometimes they fly up to 12 miles an hour and almost 100 miles in one day. There could be over a thousand butterflies traveling together. Wow, that would be neat to see, wouldn't it? They fly to places such as Florida, Southern California, and Mexico. Some butterflies migrate 4,000 miles. They will stay south throughout the winter. Some towns and cities are proud to have the butterflies visit them. They have festivals to celebrate their arrival. 
Children dress up for parades in butterfly costumes. Sometimes there's a band and visitors come from all around. Monarchs can cluster together, thousands of them clinging to one tree, a butterfly tree. In the spring, these butterflies will migrate north again to the fields of milkweed plants. Then it tells you how to find a monarch butterfly and how to make a home for them and how to care for them and then how to release them. So there's lots of different things you can do. And you know, another really good thing to do Try and find some milkweed seeds and see if you can plant and grow a milkweed plant. Because if that's what the monarch blooded butterflies like to eat, maybe you'll have a little tiny egg planted on your milkweed plant and you'll end up with a butterfly. Who knows? All right, friends, I hope you get to see some butterflies and maybe you'll see some monarch ones, those orange and black ones. All right, have a great day. Bye bye.